Confabulations are an important part of life. They serve to heal emotional wounds or to prevent ones from being inflicted in the first place. They prop up the confabulator's self-esteem. They regulate his or her sense of self-worth. And they buttress his or her self-image. They serve as an organizing principle in social interactions. Father's wartime heroism. Mother's youthful good looks. One's oft-recounted exploits. Erstwhile alleged brilliance and past purported sexual irresistibility, they're all typical examples of white, fuzzy, heartwarming lies wrapped around a shriveled kernel of truth. But the distinction between reality and fantasy is rarely completely lost on the confabulator. Deep inside, the healthy confabulator knows where facts end and wishful thinking takes over. Father acknowledges he was no war hero, though he did his share in of fighting. Mother understands she was no ravishing beauty, though she may have been attractive. The confabulator realizes that his recounted exploits are overblown, his brilliance exaggerated, and his sexual irresistibility a myth. Such distinctions never rise to the surface, because everyone, the confabulator and his audience alike, have a common interest to maintain the confabulation. To challenge the integrity of the confabulator or the veracity of his confabulations is to threaten the very fabric of family and society. Human intercourse is built around such entertaining deviations from the strict truth.